we are still in the Autodoc network. So we're going to refine this, okay, because it's pulling a lot of carpet than what I intend or what I like. So I'm going to introduce a new node called pop property. Okay, pop property. And I'm going to check use of expression and I'm going to enable mass. Okay, do you remember we set the mass to one at the start of this tutorial in grain source right here? Oh, no, not there. Up here. There, that one. So I want to just change that a little bit. Uh, let me just choose this one. Okay, good. I want to change that and I'm going to enter mass equals random at pt num. And I'm also going to do, let me fit this 0, 01, fit 0, 01 random at point num, comma, 1, comma, 10. Okay, that means give me a mass, which is a random number, number between 0 and 1 at based on point number and then fit that number between 1 and 10 and that'll be based on each individual point okay and if you notice that I have not used the at symbol here and that's because this is the expression all right slightly different to vex expressions I, I think but anyway um, at mass doesn't work it's just mass and it multiplies the uh, number from here okay so that's that. Let's check how that changes the simulation. Okay, I just ran around 30 frames of this and let's check it out. Look at that. Even though it didn't solve our problem, it has changed how the carpet bends. You can see it, the difference is significant. Okay, good. That's a good start, all right? What I'm also going to do now is I'm going to introduce a sub solver. Again, these may not be the way, you know, to do it properly, but this is the way that I've got the result. Okay, so go inside. I'm going to introduce a point velocity not introduce just put in a point velocity and I'm going to add velocity and the negative y direction okay so I'm going to push it down and I'm going to connect this to the center where it says particle forces is the first one no particle forces that's right that's where I want to put it and let's check that out Okay, I just ran around 35 frames of this, okay? So let's check it out. Look at that. It's a significant difference. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go into Cam 4. And there you go. That looks a lot better. And it looks a lot like the way it was. Or it is supposed to be. Alright, cool. So that's the refining within the Autodoc network done.